Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to get clients in niches that are considered saturated, what things different you need to do in order to consistently land clients in these niches. So without further ado, let's get into the first point, which is narrowing your focus. So I spoke about this in the last video. So you want to identify a sub niche within this field. So for example, SaaS is too broad, Ecom it's too broad. You need a specific niche within this saturated market. Because the key thing here is allowing competitors to, allowing your target market to see that you're different. How are they gonna see that you're different if your niche is just broadly e-com, you have no standing out case studies, you have no standout offer, you have no standout sub niche showing your expertise, you have no content. It's all about differentiating yourself from the masses. So you can do that really, really easily by just establishing a sub niche. If you already have case studies within a certain field, great, you can double down on that part, but it's gonna make your outbound and your outreach so much easier if you establish a sub niche right off the bat. So you become an expert in that area. As soon as you've established that sub niche, you can double down on that. You can consistently bring on clients in that sub niche because you have the case studies, the experience that resonates with them. You're already differentiating yourself. You already know how to get that sub niche results. And it's literally just a snowball from there. So the best thing to do is start off broad. If you're working with e-com, I would recommend creating an offer around a sub niche anyway. And then once you get clients on board, establish those clients as your new sub niche, if you can get them results, snowball it from there and it'll be extremely easy. But if you already have clients and you already have case studies in that area, then double down on that. So you can stand out by offering specialized services as well. So if you know that there's certain services that work better in your sub niche than they would for just a broader niche, then yeah, make sure you talk about them. Make sure you highlight the benefits of using those certain services because again, it's gonna it's gonna help you stand out. So attract clients looking for expertise in a particular field. So this really comes back to establishing a sub niche. The more you establish a sub niche, the more you dial in on exactly what that niche wants, the more you're gonna have the experience to talk about your expertise, the more that they're gonna be drawn towards you because they see that you stand out and they perceive you as an expert, so you're gonna attract them naturally. Next point I wanted to talk about was identify unique selling points. So you need to know what differentiates you from your competitors here. So the main thing here is gonna be offer, it's gonna be your positioning, uh, your personal brand, your online presence, your case studies, those are the three things. So your presence outside of the outbound message, your offer, and your social proof. So Make sure you have as much as that possible. Make sure your offer resonates with your prospect's pain points. Emphasize how you do things differently, if it makes sense to do so in your email, in your outbound message, etc. You showcase the value that you're gonna to offer to potential clients in your email. Talk about what you can actually do for them. Talk about the benefits of your service and not the features and highlight reasons why your clients should choose you over others. So this is extremely important. You can, that would be a great way to open a cold email. You can just talk about, talk briefly about what other people are doing, what other people aren't doing that you are, for example, why you have a sub niche and why all the other agencies are failing, why all the other people targeting the same target market are failing. So that's really interesting. I definitely recommend doing that. If not in a cold email, then do it subtly, maybe in a VSL, talk about in content, etc. But essentially, like I said, the three things that are gonna differentiate you from your competitors and set you apart, your VSL, your content, and your case studies. So make sure you showcase all of that. Make sure that you can communicate to clients why you're different. Put yourself in the mind of the prospect. Imagine that you are them, you're receiving 20 emails a day, all very similar, all from Iman Gadzi's Ecom course, for example. Iman Gadzi's uh, agency course, all targeting e-com agencies. So put yourself into their perspective, try and do something different. And yeah, you should have a, a better time doing that. Ne next thing, which isn't really talked about too much, is networking and partnerships. So try and build relationships with professionals in related fields. Go out, maybe attend events, use LinkedIn, 
see if there's anything in person that you can do, build out your network, maybe ask for a quick call, but don't position it as a discovery call for your services. Position it as truly wanting to learn more about that niche. Can collaborate with complementary businesses for mutual benefits. So yeah, if there's another if there's another agency doing a similar thing to you, targeting a similar niche, network with them, speak to them, see what things you can get from them. If they genuinely like you, which they probably which is likely for them to do if you truly lead with with their interests at heart see if you can provide value to them don't lead in thinking about you, what you can gain from the conversation always think in terms of what they can gain and speak in terms of that 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 way they'll be more inclined to take calls with you so yeah speak to different agencies in your field see what they're doing if they like you enough who knows they'll probably pass some some business to you some clients to you could even end up working with them there's a ton of different opportunities that can come from literally just speaking to businesses in your niche yeah there's a lot of mutual benefits there expand your reach through word of mouth referrals one way that you can stand out in a saturated niche is having a better service than every single other person out there and that's going to expand your reach through referrals I think there's a quote from Alex Hormozzi saying you can either chase you can either mar- try and market yourself by chasing leads or you can let your product market you can let your product do the talking and let your customers market it for the rest of your life so I, I probably messed up that quote but what he means by that is if you have such a good product if you have such a good service the marketing will do itself for you that's really if it is top tier though the, the marketing will do itself. I'm not saying you don't have to ever do marketing again, but you're going to benefit hugely from referrals. And you're going to gain a lot of visibility. So like I said, gain visibility by associating with established entities. So just try and speak to as many e-com owners as you can, as many agency owners in your niche as you can. I don't know why I'm speaking specifically in e-com. This is the main niche that gets called saturated. It's one of the most popular niches, but no matter what niche you're in, these principles apply so yeah you can gain visibility by associating with other people who are in relation to what you do next thing is creating high quality content so if you do want to stand out if you do want to position yourself as an authority produce valuable content consistently you'll stand out as an authority in your niche prospects will have to perceive you as different to everyone else because your competitors aren't going to have a thriving social presence like you do even if it's not thriving as long as you're posting content consistently giving value to the market prospects are going to see you as different prospects are want to going to want to engage with you so you can showcase your expertise through blogs videos social media i would recommend against blogs videos social media is probably the way forward reach a broader audience with your shared content so you have to think like in terms of outbound you're sending out messages you you can at best you can reach about i'll say at, at a safe at a safe sending limit on email you could probably reach around 300 new people a day with content the leverage that it has and what you actually need to do to reach 3000 people instead of 300 people every day is minuscule compared to what that would need to be with ramping up outbound so Realize that the, realize that content is one of the best things that you can do for your business. Realize the leverage that it has. And if you're getting discouraged at the start, just try and look at the impressions, try and look at the views. And imagine if those 30 people that watch my video or whatever were sat in a room, it would be a lot more people than than you can just imagine them to be on a screen if you just look at 30 views so it's a huge amount of people and if you think all of those people that saw the content are in your ideal niche that they're one step closer down the funnel you're giving them that authority you're positioning them as a leader you're positioning yourself as a leader you're giving them information that can help them so yeah you can build trust and credibility with potential clients anyway that's everything that i wanted to talk about today in the video if you are an agency owner who has existing case studies who has happy clients, who is prioritizing scaling over the next few months and you're above 50K a month, then there's a link below in the description where you can have a chat with me. Don't worry, there's no pitches on the first call. It's literally just a call to see how I can help you and give you any value to move you forward. If you're below 50K a month and you're an agency owner, book in a call with me in the description. We can talk about anything acquisition related. And yeah, ask me any questions. Anyway, that's everything for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah. 
Thank you. Have a good day.